Here's a little something for y'all. This is a little swarm capture I'm gonna try to pull off. These are on the edge of a deck at a, uh, well, at a pool, at a community pool. So, there's not a whole lot left. You can see they're here on the edge of the deck and uh, down there on the deck. I stopped by and looked at them Saturday, but I didn't have any equipment with me. Um, my legitimate concern is that they might be queenless, uh, a little after swarm here. Um, so I'm going to try to catch them and run them into the box, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. Without a whole lot of guidance, they don't really have any reason to do what I ask them to, other than that I put a little lemongrass oil on the box. But i got to say, now that I'm down here in front of them, they're all starting to crawl away from me and they're running in and out of those holes under the deck. So uh, I don't see any activity coming to and from that tells me that there's actually a, you know, an established colony under the boards. And uh, like I said, I can't find a queen. And there was a lot more of them here Saturday than there are now, or at least a lot more that I could see. So I guess they very well could be balling up underneath that deck. But still, I don't see any activity coming to and from. So I'm going to hurry up and try to grab a couple handful of them and put them on the box and maybe get them running to the box. But uh, eh, it's not looking good. There's more and more of them going underneath. So we'll see. Oh boy. Well, this explains why they uh, wanted to hang out outside, but uh, also wanted to go back inside. They got combs under here, and it looks like the combs are mostly a collapsed, rotten mess, which is interesting why they're like that. Um, it's as if they just fell off the deck on their own. Uh, but anyway, uh, my guess is the combs collapsed, they got small high beetle infestation, and they absconded. Now, unless this cavity gets a whole lot bigger between here and the edge of the deck and here, which I can't imagine that it could, um, there's not going to be much of a colony under here, but I'm going to start pulling boards up, I guess, and uh, see what I can find. I wasn't expecting this, but sometimes that's the way it goes, so let's keep on working. All right, well, y'all can see these, uh, these bees are tearing me up pretty bad out here. Um, I almost had to put on my bandana to keep them out of my face, but uh, really I think I'm just going to put it on now because I'm sweating like a dog. But there's the colony for what it's worth. Little bitty narrow combs underneath this deck. They all collapsed on themselves, turned into a big mess. Um, had to pull up a few boards to get to it, and uh, now I've got my box sitting over there, and I'm trying to get them to run to it. It looks like some of them are kind of starting to. They're running a lot one way or the other, as if maybe they have a queen they're actually chasing, but I haven't seen her yet, so I'm just going to... Make sure I'm going to keep blowing some smoke underneath here, run the rest of them out from underneath the deck there, and there's a few of them that still are wanting to come out. And uh, just keep walking over there on the box to see if I see that queen. So we'll keep after it. I tell you, I'm thinking they got to be queenless. Now here's a nice little pile of combs that I got out. Again, all collapsed, all the product of small high beetle. You want to see something disgusting. Look at this. See right there? Solid beetles. Watch this. Oh, oh yeah, beetle maggots pupating in the soil, absolutely disgusting. So those are the little suckers that took down this little colony. And granted, this colony is pretty tightly bound in this cavity anyway. They wouldn't have lasted, I don't think, anyway, just because it was too small of a space. They would have gotten too big and absconded. Um, but anyway, I'm afraid what probably happened is that they did abscond. Very well maybe that a big swarm moved in here for whatever reason, pulled all these combs in about a week's time or less, probably less. Uh, and then packed up and took off because they ran out of space. Um, but the way they're acting, they're running around all over the place. They're not going in any one direction like there is a queen. So I'm afraid there's not. I keep moving them into the box. They keep running back out. So anyway, I'm just trying to get them, get them settled in, get them to do something here. Well, there you go. I got them moving now. I had to break out the old B quick. They kept wanting to run up into the corners and you know, go in the box and come back out. So got them pretty stirred up now. Um, and it looks like they're kind of starting to try to orient on the box. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but I'm still not seeing a good march going towards the box. They're really adamant on staying in this hole. I wish I had a spare queen I could have brought along because I think that's what they need. Alright, so we're going to call this one done. That was a good one. Um, pretty nice, the uh, pool here. You know, they got a nice little, nice little evening set up going on. And uh, got some light to work with. But... I lifted the lid just real quick. I uh, got a good little cluster of bees hanging in there. I can hear them all in there humming and humming and rumbling. Uh, a couple running in and out yet. Uh, a couple of dead ones, I believe. Uh, no, not dead. No, not dead. Standing, they're standing out here. Um, not really sure why, but I've got uh, you know 99.9% .9 of them. So 
uh, we're gonna pick it up, throw it in the truck, and take them home. And I'm gonna call this one done. This is a this is an easy one. These are the ones I like. You know, they made me work for it. I actually thought I was gonna be able to show up and just uh, rake them off the side of the deck and throw them in the box, but because they had, like I said, because it was an abscond and they had some combs still in there, that's what they knew and that's what they wanted. So I ended up having to pop the deck boards up to get them. Um, but I'll tell you what, this one was easy. This is a blessing. This is the sort of break that I need after doing, you know, that big job like I did in Tascacita, which is, you know, a monster colony in the, in the joists of that house. Now the, uh, the next one coming up that y'all will get, hopefully this week, is going to be the uh, bees. I know you can't really see them, but they're over there in that bathhouse. And I'm afraid that one's going to be a little bit harder just because of the, the interior siding on the bathhouse is uh, um, some sort of plywood sheeting on the inside and then the exterior of course is brick so we're going to go through the interior but we'll just have to see what happens but anyway look at that got a hitchhiker she wants to come home with me so i'm gonna load them up get home kiss my babies and go to bed <laughs>